I fucked it so far here. I'm going to show you the pumpkin patch of the great pumpkin level built by me, which is box 179 on the inside the box. The uh, build time is pretty accurate for this one. I spent well over 10 hours in this level. All right, so I'm going to show you the uh, cool mechanics that we put behind the pumpkin patch. As I'm an admin, I can no-clip and I can show you what is needed to go and build all of this and make it work. I don't want to spoil too much by this level, but it all starts with getting an axe and chopping down a tree. Once you chop down this tree, the log will fall in front of the fire and go on fire and the fire will spread and melt the ice and the ice will flood the field. Let's go and do it so you guys can see what it does. So obviously what happened here is that I chopped down this tree and somewhere down we know there is a node detector that sensed that the tree is gone, removed all of this, put these down, and now goes through a sequence of putting down fire nodes and taking away the log, burning it out, changing the ice into water. Okay. So the fire will spread to the log. Obviously there's a bunch of timers involved here. Uh, timers will uh, put fire everywhere and then they'll start chewing through the middle. There it goes. There you go, there's the first ice node has been changed into a water node. And the second one. The water is spreading. The log is almost done burning now. And there goes the water. Flooding the field. And the field turns from dry soil to wet soil. You can pick that pumpkin up right before you do anything. It's the first step of this level, obviously. Alright, so that's most of the mechanics. Of course, there's a bunch of mechanics still here. That's part of the second part, which is where you go and plant the seeds on the spot. And the seeds will grow into a plant and the plant will make new pumpkins. Okay, so let's go take a look at the actual mechanic room, which is down beneath here. I'll turn up no clip while I'm in here. And um, yeah, that's it. There's uh, one, two, three, four, five levels deep of nodes and it spawns all the way from the beginning to the end. Now this looks horribly complicated and that's because it, it, yeah, it actually is. There's a little bit of a sequence to it. Okay, green are the node creators. Yellow are the node detectors. There's a, uh, there's, there's an inverter here, there's some delayers here. And a um, bunch of adders are blue. Okay, adders, filters, etc. Okay, so let's go over to start. It all starts with this yellow node, which is a node detector. This node detector, gosh, we can grab this one. Um, wait, we can grab this one. This is the cool one. Um, this node detector detects that the player has dug, dug the bottom of the tree. And when it does that, when it does that, um, the node will go away, so it will send an untrigger, and I need to invert that to a positive trigger. And this trigger, and I'm gonna just quickly no clip through there, is going to go and cut all those four trees down there. You see those signals moving up? That that means that that inverter is connected to that tree. Okay, this one also sets off a delayer chain in action, and you can't really see it. But if I go in here, you might actually see it. Okay, look, there they go. See? This inverter kicks off these node creators, and guess what these node creators make? You guessed it right, that log over here. So these two and this did already create the log to take the entire log away. 
And then we got a bunch of delayers. And they go and make some log parts, make some fire parts, make some fire parts, make some log parts, and go and break them down until we're done with the last one over here. That last inverter here. Um, let's see how it goes. I think it goes over here. Yeah, there you go. This is the last one. So that means that once that last, this one over here is triggered, the uh, tree is done burning. And we're actually going to go and break down the tree already. And here we start the sequence of the water flow. And that's this chain of the layers over here. I just change the layers over here. Creates the water flow. And how does that work? Well, we have a river here of node creators. Now we know that there's some ice nodes over here. We're writing these first couple of spots. We don't care about that. We can just create water to replace it. We don't need to actually break it down first. So there you go. There's the first one that creates water, and the second one creates water, and the third one, and the fourth one at the same time. These two go at the same time. One, two, three. See, that's two. There you go, that's the next one, and so forth. It creates three bunch because the river branches out. So we got here the river, and it's literally these over here. This, 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 then it goes this way, then it goes this way, and it goes this way. But now obviously I built that by going up and down, and making sure that these are all in the right place. Okay. All right, so what I actually create is I create actually the water source, the river water source, you can find it in nodes. And the cool thing about it is is that a river water source has a very steep angle so you can see it flow so to speak. It's like it looks like it's flowing. Whereas if I use the other one then that has a very low slope and it would fill up seven or eight blocks all at once and it wouldn't look as cool. Okay. Alright so once this chain starts going down. We want to go and change the soil into um, wet soil. Okay, and that is also done with these layers, I believe. What happens is I want to make the river flow first, and then later on, I'll add these guys. Is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. Okay, and this one is the creator for the wet soil. So if I just go into the spot and go up, you'll see, there you go. I'm at, this, I'm at this spot right here. Okay? It's also the spot where the seed can grow right above. And it's this creator in the bottom here. So it's this one, and it's this one, and it's this one here, this one here, that one right there. This will all get created as part of that chain. See, there it goes. There. All right. All right, so the water will flow and the, water, the soil will get made wet. And in the end, it all comes together when the player places the seeds on the field. Okay. When it places seeds on the when it places seeds on the field, these node detectors will all pick that up, and the node detectors are all going down here to this one adder. You see the uh, stream of icons coming in here. Okay. Hi. That's the one, sorry. All these node detectors will trigger and it will trigger this adder and this adder will kick off the, um, the delay sequence that will then generate the pumpkins and the plants. And that is this part over here. There's nine of them. And we've got On the top, we have the plants. They're delayed for about a minute, so that's a really fast pumpkin plant. And at the bottom, we create the actual pumpkin. And the 
pumpkin is on the side, so this is the pumpkin. That's the pumpkin creator. Hang on. Yeah, this one. You see that signal comes from right there? Okay. So this top circuit creates the pumpkin. Did I say you're around? Yeah, the bottom one creates the plant. So we detect a seed being placed, and we make it into a plant, and then we grow a pumpkin. Yes, I realized that this is a very large structure, and I spent probably a couple of hours building it. But in the end, it's nothing more but uh, simple chains and node creators and a few detectors. The adders are the only thing that make this a little bit complex, especially this one over here. And the reason for it is that we want to make sure that the player has placed all of the seeds before we start growing it. Because we want to uh, make sure that the player gets enough pumpkins in the end. It would be uh, kind of weird if the player would place, uh, grow only two or three seeds. I want them to make a make a full pumpkin. There you have it. That is the uh, the uh, the pumpkin patch from uh, the Great Pumpkin. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, happy Halloween, guys.